We are here today with Alex Joyce from Rejoice Financial, and today we're talking about the fundamentals of investing. Big term there. What are the fundamentals, Alex? <laughs> you know, just like we always yeah. say, right? They're different for everybody. Yeah. And, and I think that uh, when when people watch this show, I think it's imperative that uh, first and foremost, you know, we don't we don't give recommendations in this setting, and I think we get that a lot. And it's like you know, people call in or they they listen to the show and they email me or they email the team. And, and I think that one of the biggest things we want people to do when they're listening to this mm -hmm. and getting the information is is call in for further education. Okay. Because that's what this show is it's for. Key. Right? It's is, key. is educating the public on ways they can make better decisions yeah. financially, right? And so I think that um, the number one thing that people should really focus on before they invest anything, okay. whether it's real estate or whether it's traditional investments like stocks or bonds. Right. And we get a lot of questions of like gold and commodities yes. and storable yes. stuff. It's just like all over the board. Yes. They're all investments. Um, you, because people want to make money, mm -hmm. right? And they invest their money or their time, because that's an investment as well, yeah. into something and they expect something in return. It's true. A lot of times that's dollars and cents. Right. And so risk is number one. Mm -hmm. And how we look at risk and how we measure risk is critical mm -hmm. before making any kind of investment decisions. I mean, such as, you know, when we ask people, you know, hey, if you had $100,000, right? And um, you lost ten thousand dollars of that. Would that would that uh, would that keep you up at night? And some people would say, "Man, that's woo, that's a lot, mm -hmm. right?" But then we say, "Hey, would you lose uh, on a hundred thousand? Would you be okay risking and maybe possibly losing ten percent of it?" Yeah. That's... And some people would say, "Yeah, that's not eh, too bad. Doesn't sound so bad. Right? Yeah. Such is true when we say, "Hey, on a scale of one to ten, yeah, how do you feel about risk?" Mm -hmm. Most people would say, "Eh, five. Okay. Right? Because the fact is, they really don't. When we talk about risk, it sets in, I think personally, it sets in emotionally. Yeah. It's like, well, the fear of loss kind of sets in. It's mm -hmm. like, well, I, I want to make money, but I really don't know how to make money, but I don't mm -hmm. know how much I should risk. And so one of the tools that we use in our office um, and one of the metrics and strategies that we use, technology that we use, is a, is a formula called standard deviation. Okay. And so one of the standard deviation, I don't mean to talk high level, and this certainly isn't an econ show, if you will, but it's a, it's a tool that we use that shows us probability, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, how much, how much risk are you willing to take or are you taking in return for compensation? Yeah. And so what that does is it squashes those two things together so we can find something called uh, efficiency. Okay. Right? Because we don't want people to take a bunch of risk, make very little money. Yeah. And such is true where everybody wants to take very little risk yes. and make a bunch of money. Yes. Right? And so there's a sweet spot in between sweet and what spot. we're trying to sweet spot, right? And so, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to gather people, right, and gather those funds or gather those ideas to show them the most efficient way to do and the most optimized way to hit that goal. Yep. Right? And so one of the things we do also... And anybody can get this, right? I mean, these are tools that when someone walks in our office, um, these are things that we go through with everybody, okay. right? Such as uh, uh, a stress test, right? A stress yeah. test would be, hey, you know what? Two thousand, right? 2007, 2009 was very difficult, very hard. Um, so what we do is we take people's portfolios and we send them through that past event mm. to show them how they feel about the outcome. Oh, that is so cool. That's risk. Yeah. And so they don't like the number, yeah. then we create a solution to change it. I love that. Right? Um, so you listen, I could I could talk about risk all day long, risk reward. Yep. But I think, the, you know, for most people, it's like, well, how do I get that? I think that they just first need to take a leap of faith. Yeah. And if they like or, or hear something they like, I think they need to take action. Mm -hmm. And um, they should just call us and schedule a time to sit down and discuss it. Yeah. A, a long-term approach is always better, right? For investments, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're no miracle makers. We don't have a crystal ball. Right. Uh, we work our tails off. But I tell you, um, this uh, is a long game. Yeah, it's a long game. But it's never too late to start. I don't think it is, you, you know. Say? And it's, it, you know, when we, when we help people or take people on, um, that is a thing I think in the back of people's minds. I do too. Right, I'm too old. I, I'm right, too, I'm, too I'm young, embarrassed. At right? this stage of my life, I haven't really done anything. I'm embarrassed to even meet with you. I think it's difficult. So yeah. it's just true with the young people, they don't take it as serious, yeah. you know, or they want something that's unreasonable, such as, I don't mean to, you know, crypto. Yeah. But right, we're just not in a place where we're putting a bunch of crypto in people's retirement plans, right? We don't know I don't about think it. we will probably ever do that. Right, okay. Risk, 
reward. Okay. Okay. So education, again, is, is most important. We want to educate people. We want people to come in, pay us a visit, see if there's anything we can do to help. It doesn't cost a penny that's, to get a second and opinion. And that's the thing about you guys. You're a one-stop shop. Consultation is free. As always, such great information. We'll have more great information coming up, so be sure to stick around.